Good morning, babes. <laughs> My face looks so puffy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jandira and I am going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm just going to put this out there into the universe because it needs to be known that I do not know what I'm doing. I literally have gotten my makeup done, yes, many times. But for some reason, I just can't learn. I don't, I don't know what it is. And so I kind of just created my method of, and I'm happy with it. The actual purpose of this video is to do a Q&A of where I've been because I promised you guys that I was gonna let you know where I've been for the last three, four years <laughs> that I have not been on YouTube. Um, so let's get started. I'm not gonna do a talk through of like all the products I'm using obviously. It's not the purpose of this video. Start off with this baby. And I'm so excited with it because, let me see if I can focus, okay, there you go. I'm going to use the La Mer oil for my face. Um, so, okay, where I've been. That is such a long-winded answer for that question that I don't even know. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, my earring. <laughs> Wow, this smells amazing. Wow, so impressed. Guys, you know, when you buy expensive things, things of like quality, the smell, the texture, the feel, everything is just so much more, wow, you know, like luxurious and just beautiful. And then I'm going to use my also La Mer cream for my face. A bit far far away from YouTube and I'm just gonna be honest with you guys you know being on social media um, when I started was like very very new and fresh and I just I didn't really know what I was getting myself into and the scary thing is not actually being on social media for me it wasn't scary the scary thing was the people that came into my life because I was on social media. So I guess that's really the reason number one. Because I'm trying to think of like, okay, how am I going to organize this conversation? My skin feels amazing. Wow. Beautiful. I think I'm going to save the best for last. The best part is the last part and it's something that I just completely changed my life and I'm so happy and I wanted to end this video in a happy note so we'll talk about the best part in the last but anyways talking about insecurities um, when I first started my youtube channel I was super confident I was a very confident person overall like so much has happened in my life growing up that has made me you know just comfortable with who I am really and so I never really had like insecurity issues on like being on camera but you cut up with like looking at what other people are doing in social media and you know at first it's like oh I'm just doing it for inspiration and then it turns into a comparison game and it you know it just gets you in a really kind of unhappy place emotionally when I first started my channel and when I first started Instagramming, it was really just me wanting to share like, you know, what I love. What I love is fashion and, you know, just lifestyle and like kind of living like an elevated, just a curated life, you know, um, not just living because trying to get by every day, but like living intentionally. I think that's what it is, just really waking up intentionally making plans and like living the life that you know you envision and you dream of and not just the life that's like kind of handed to you. I got approached by a girl and I was so excited to be her friend because she was fun and she was just you know one of those people that draws you to them. I didn't realize that in reality she 
just wanted to be my friend because I was on social media. I guess she had like her other friends that she would talk to about my, you know, my life, I guess. I don't know. I really honestly still to this day don't know like all the specifics. But basically she approached me because she was like, oh yeah, you know, you're on social media and you have this perfect life, which I never in my whole entire life try to portray that I have a perfect life like oh my gosh I'm so human I am beyond human like my life is not perfect to say the least you know I have just as many struggles and ups and downs as everybody else like you know if not more honestly and so she's like yeah you know um she came to my house and she was like you know you portray like your life is so perfect and awesome but like your house isn't even that nice and it just kind of like hit me like what what do you mean and she's like yeah you know on instagram you have like this perfect house and it's like you come here and it's like hmm and it just struck me as one of those things you know like i would never i would never do that or say that to somebody else and you know there were other conversations after that that just hinted at the fact that it was like first it was a very toxic friendship because honestly like every time she'd come she'd say things and when she'd leave i'd feel like crap like oh like that wasn't very nice you know and that is a sign of toxic but just the fact that like she would go and talk to her friends and then come back to report what was talked about and I'm not much into gossip, like I'm really not. And all of that like cycle and realizing that, you know, people were approaching me for the wrong reasons. And it wasn't because like, oh yeah, they genuinely like wanted to get to know me and be my friend, but it was because I was on social media it was weird and like really uncomfortable. That was like one thing, you know, I was getting really insecure with with the way I looked, which is weird. I've always been happy with the way I look. <laughs> you gotta believe in your sauce, you know? Very confident, overly confident. But it's okay to be overly confident, I think, as long as you are true to yourself and you really do believe in like what you bring to the table. There's nothing wrong with being confident, but you know, I started comparing my age and my accomplishments with other people and, you know, the companies, like when I was on Instagram, the companies that would reach out to me and like wanted to send me products and I'd compare it to other, com other girls and their companies and just kind of like started to feel like less than, you know, like I wanted to be in a different place than I was and I was just starting out Instagram like things were so different you know it was like so much easier to um oh my gosh like I posted a picture like I think a month after I started my Instagram account and it went viral and it was just insane like how many people were reposting my pictures and you know being noticed on Instagram was so much easier and then there was the algorithm change and that messed everything up and like my confidence plummeted because I wasn't growing as fast. Just, you know, everything like kind of stopped in a way. And so I got kind of bummed and like, I felt really down about it. Where, you know, like instead of getting confidence to just keep going I was kind of like what am I doing with my life you know social media what is this anyways like ugh, I went to school like I have two degrees I should really just focus on like working and fashion is just a dream like you know so what if it's a passion I was just really unconfident in like where I was going with social media and honestly like what I was doing and um and so I stopped, you know, I stopped and I always kept telling myself, I'll pick it back up once my like full time, like life career is going somewhere where I'm like happy with it. 
and that like actually just never really happened until like now you know which is insane because I figured out like a career but like I'm not even really working in the career but it's a career that I feel like made everyone else happy and what I mean by that is everyone else had such a big, <laughs> a big problem with me like not working in the field of study that I went to school for and like I was bothered by it yeah like I couldn't find a job obviously when I graduated the first time from college the economy crashed so bad and like there were just no jobs out there I couldn't find a job in my field of study which you know a lot of people couldn't and so I started working in sales and then I went from sales to some other random jobs and I was okay with it because you know what a paycheck is a paycheck at the end of the day I was paying my bills and like that's really what mattered and that's what I cared about you know I cared about paying my bills and being independent um, but then when everyone else started pointing out like you went to school for this and what are you doing with your life I kind of felt like okay well then maybe I need to do something else you know and it kind of created this whole like drive to like prove that I could do something at the time I was going to a, to a church where like most Filipino church shout out to the Filipinas um, I was going to Filipino church and most of the members there were nurses and um, I was like wow I love their lifestyle like I love you know the fact that they work three days a week and they have all this time off like Filipinos love to vacation oh my gosh they were vacationing like almost every other month and I was just like this is insane like I don't know anybody who has this kind of a lifestyle like works like a regular job and has this kind of a lifestyle and freedom that they have and so I was like okay well maybe I'll go back to school and do nursing so that was my career change I went back to school I started nursing I finished the nursing program <laughs> and then life happened you know COVID and all sorts of different things and I was like oh do I want to go to the hospital right now no I don't <laughs> I do not want to go to the hospital with that I was like well what do I really want to do I want to go back on YouTube so here I am I am back on YouTube because I want to and because I can <laughs> Um, 2020 was a crap year like it really was but with that came a lot of blessings to my family the last reason I was gone is because <laughs> cute beautiful baby pictures <laughs> yes you guessed it I had a baby ah! <laughs> and he's just amazing and just cute 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 adorable he's so precious he's like the best gift I could have ever wished for and you know once I had my baby I realized that like I want to be at home with my babies <laughs> which is you know so countercultural it's super countercultural and I think that you know that's something else that like is a trigger for a lot of people because they're like you went to school and you have a career now and you're a nurse and you know how many people want to be a nurse and you did all that work and like you know I want to be I want to be with my baby I want to enjoy my my baby I want to spend even more time getting to know him and seeing him grow he is just the most amazing human being ever you know I never understood motherhood I honestly am going to be real like really think I wanted a baby <laughs> until I had one and I was like wow you know I mean obviously we planned for a baby and we changed our minds and we were like okay my camera overheated guys the struggle is real with YouTube anyways 
I think I was talking about my baby <laughs> and how awesome it is to be a mommy. It's the best feeling in the world. Say mama. Mama. Mama, come on, say it. Mama. and I'm not trying to convince anyone who doesn't want kids because I was there one day but after I had my baby I realized how awesome it is to be a woman honestly just to carry that little precious bundle in your belly and to have a baby and then to be able to just kiss and hug and just enjoy that child when they you know different stages of growing up my baby is 19 months now and he's just amazing, like he's the happiest, most loving little thing. I mean, he's also a brat, you know, sometimes. But all the little phases and all the little things, you know, just like watching your baby grow and being able to enjoy that. And I'm blessed that I'm able to enjoy that and watch him grow. Um, but yeah, motherhood is becoming, it's becoming, and I love it. Um, where was I with my makeup? I can't even remember where I was with my makeup. I don't know what's wrong with my camera, it overheated. <laughs> but it's okay. We're gonna finish this. So, my advice is be careful with your friends, be careful with those people that you have in your life. Be careful with the choices and decisions that you choose to make because I do regret it, you know? I think in retrospect, had I kept going with Instagram, I feel like I would have been in a better place. I would have matured and realized that like, obviously you don't grow overnight, like it's a process. And I feel like now starting back my channel, I'm a lot more level-headed. I think I, um, my expectations are a lot lower of my growth and like where I need to be. Um, maybe it's being a mom, you know, maybe I just, I don't know, I just put all these things into a um, level of like importance and to me the most important thing is obviously my family and my baby. And even my career is important, but it's not my number one anymore and like because I think that my shift happened in my head I can come back and be in a very um in a better space headspace <laughs> um better headspace I am um, I feel confident again in myself and like you know I mean I freaking went to nursing school while I was pregnant <laughs> it's pretty badass right so I'm confident um, I feel a lot happier. Speaking of the baby, he just woke up. I have to go get him. <laughs> okay, I think this is possibly the worst get ready with me video in the history of videos. Like, I literally don't even remember what I was talking about anymore. I think it was about baby. But I'm not 100% sure. Anyways. We need to finish because he's about to start screaming. Mommy, I want your love and attention. So. Let me go ahead and finish this video. Motherhood is awesome. I love, love, love it. I think it's important to be careful and be aware of the friends that you make. But you never know, you know, I feel like you never really know the people that are approaching you are true friends or if they just want to be in your business until you've already become so close, you know, sometimes it's like you're so close and you don't know. <sighs> don't compare yourself to others. Don't compare your, your journey, your process with other people because it's like... I think everybody has their own their own journey, their own road to follow. And be confident in who you are. Be happy with where you are. And if you're not where you want to be, it's okay, you know. 
you could always start over you can always i can't talk with you talking i can't you need to if you're not happy with where you are you could always start over there's nothing wrong with starting over there's nothing wrong with going back to school figuring yourself out and then starting back up and that's where i am right now starting youtube again i literally can't do this <laughs> So yeah, starting YouTube again was something that I honestly didn't know I was going to do. But I have such a supportive husband. And he convinced me to just do what I love, who loves me very much and encourages me and pushes me to do the things that make me happy and the things that I love. And you know, I love doing this. I love sharing my life. I like sharing tips and I love sharing just things I'm passionate about um I like motivating others here I am I'm back on YouTube yay <laughs> um because I love it and it makes me happy and sometimes in life you have to do those things that make you happy push you out of your comfort zone and help you to grow, which is YouTube, really. Um, I can use my creativity. I can empower other girls to do the same, to get out of their comfort zone, to get up and get dressed every morning, to just live their lives a little bit more intentionally, a little bit more curated, and to be happy. Realize. Um, just being in the nine to five kind of job environment, how unhappy a lot of us are. And I feel like when you're just living your life intentionally and you, you know, are taking a little bit more time to do little things like this, doing your makeup in the morning, it just makes you so much happier. And I think that we could all be happy. And I just want to bring a little dose of that happiness to the world and that's why I'm doing this <laughs> anyways if you made it to the end of this video oh my god I love you um yikes so this is it this is the finished look how do you guys like it you think it's cute I like a more natural makeup look I honestly um don't wear fake eyelashes every day I think um, just kind of like a natural look like I got up I got ready makes me feel the best you know on a daily basis and yeah this usually takes me like five minutes to do. <laughs> but since I'm here yapping away it took forever oh my goodness and it was so stressful I didn't realize how stressful these things were to film but it was a lot of fun I did like it and I hope you guys did too I hope you took something away from all the rambling and all the you know baby crying in the back <laughs> um but yeah guys this is this is me and i hope you subscribe to my channel if you made it this far i hope you become a family i love you guys um i will see you in my next video good morning <laughs> good morning